This place has seen. Take a look. So you're interested in my po- Don't forget us if you need supplies for your journey. You're here for lessons like ink? So, you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Yes, yes, goodbye. Any luck gathering those ingredients? Oh, it's you. Come to extort more from me? New around Rifton? Take my advice. Stay at the B and Bard. The bunkhouse isn't for you. You looking for something or what? We've stopped. What is it? I am sworn to carry your burdens. Let's go. Working at the Riften Fishery is tough, but it put some coin in my pocket. Did you get that new in town, eh? Here for the fishing, I guess. If you're looking for you a handout, buy some you want just to what you see here. Husband. If you're looking for company, come back when you're ready to spend I more could gold. Do worse. Goodness knows I could use it. from a job, huh? Huh? What did you need? Pull up a seat. Have a drink. Don't forget, you're representing the guild. Don't do anything stupid. Welcome to the cozy little family. I'm one of the lookouts. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that.
All right, then. It's one thing to say you've got the skills to be a thief. Maven was down here right before you got back, and she was all smiles. I haven't seen her like that in a long time. Whatever you did at Hunting Brew, you're now on her good side. Best of all, if she's happy, Mercer's happy. Keep it up, and you'll go places. Oh, a bit of this, and a bit of that. Until next time. some armor and live to tell about it buying and selling fine jewelry here a winter's morning Thanks again for delivering Any luck gathering those I ingredients? You here for... Ah, oh, so you're an alchemist then. My experiments yes, can't yes, be completed fine. until you've brought me those ingredients. Do hurry. Let's get going. I met your commands. Let's go. Never should have come here. Get going.
Dendar's mercy be upon you, for the vigil has none to spare. Pardon me, my lord. Would you care to hear me play my lute? No, I'm sorry. You must have me mistaken for someone else. I've never even heard that name before. I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. Please, I beg you. Don't tell Sibi where I am. He'll kill me. Sibi's been spreading lies about me. You must hear me out. Sibi and I were to be married. We were supposed to be happy together forever. Then I found that wretched poetry from Svana. When I confronted Sibi about it, he threatened to kill me. I was scared, so I told my brother Wulfur. He went to talk to Sibi for me and... and... Sibi killed him. My brother wasn't even armed. When I heard what Sibi did, I fled. And now you've found me, and you're going to tell him where I am. I've always fancied a journey up the 7,000 steps to the monastery. Anything to break the boredom of living in this town. I envy you. I play the lute. If you'd like to hear something, it only costs five gold.
That's so sweet of you. I'll tell you what. I'll play a special song just for you, for no charge at all. We don't get many visitors. If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. It's haunted. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. The Greybeards are a solitary lot. I don't think they've ever ventured outside their monastery. We get the occasional pilgrim passing through here on their way to the summit, but almost all of them have returned disappointed. There ain't much more to tell. They're haunted, and you should stay away. Look. I've seen one of the spirits with my very own eyes. When it glared at me, I swear it burned right through my soul. Fortunately, they seem to be sticking to the barrow. I think they're guarding it. Certainly isn't helping my business any. Who'd want to rent a room anywhere near a haunted barrow? If you think there's anything you can do, be my guest. About a year or two ago, some fella named Windelius came through, said he was some kind of a treasure hunter. I warned him not to go in there, just like I warned you. The very next night we heard screams from the barrow, and that was it. We never saw him again. Sir, I've got no interest in magic users. No use for their kind at all. They're way up north in Winterhold, and that's fine with me. I don't even like our Jarl having a court wizard. Let's see that appetite, hmm? Pass through again. Stop by for Let's a drink. Let's get going. I met your command. Let's go. If you fancy a bit of music, let me know. The room? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Let me know if there's anything else you need. You don't look like a pilgrim. Why bother visiting Iverstead? Hmm? What do you want? Clinic brings food supplies up to them once every few weeks, when the weather permits it. Other than that, they seem like a quiet lot. Don't really know too much about them. <sighs> what a boring conversation. Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. This has to be the worst place in Skyrim to run a mill. How am I supposed to do anything with all those bears running around? 
My business is falling apart, my apprentice never listens to me, and now there's talk of dragons. If I hadn't sunk every bit of gold I had into my mill, I would have picked up and left Iverstead long ago. Are you kidding? Those damn things will drive me right out of business. Tell you what, bring me ten of their pelts from anywhere in Skyrim. I'll gladly pay you for thinning out the herd. Have you ever seen what a bear does to the trees? They jump on their hind legs and scratch them to bits, marking their territory or something. It's getting to the point where I have to scour Skyrim for untouched trees at the right size. Cost me too much time and money. The Greybeards stay away from me, and I stay away from them. Suits me just fine. Now go give those stupid bears what's coming to them. are driving me crazy. What is it? Are you the one sent by Mara? I prayed to Mara and she spoke to me in a dream. She said a stranger would appear to help me. Is that you? My parents are being impossible. Bassianus wants to marry me. I think I love him, but he wants to move to Riften afterwards. And my father won't allow it. He only cares about this stupid town. But Bassianus makes me happier than anyone ever has. My mother's not any help either. I don't want to choose. They're both so amazing. You must be another pilgrim on the way up to High Hrothgar. No other reason to pass through here. It's frightening living below the monastery. Sometimes I swear I can hear strange noises rolling down from up there. It sounds like thunder, but there's never any rain. What do you make of that? Oh my. Probably something about the men. We all wish we had our problems. I don't tell my husband, but I don't have any problem with Bassianus. Even if it means her leaving Iverstead, I want Fastred to be happy. If they just snuck out of town together, I could manage my husband. Bassianus is still so terrified of Yoththor. If he knew that I'd keep him from hunting the poor boy down, he'd take faster to Riften without a second thought. Let him know that I'll watch out for them. I just want my daughter to be happy. Sure, leave. Everyone else does. The Tardos driving you crazy. So forgive me if I'm a bit on edge. They call it the path to the monastery to 7,000 steps. Can you imagine? I'm not certain if I could even make it to the top without collapsing from exhaustion. I'm sure I know what this is about. She thinks she's in love with Bassianus and wants to leave town. With him. Let me tell you how I see it. Until a few months ago, the girl was head over heels for Clement. Wouldn't stop talking about him. Now, if I thought she was really in love with Bassianus, that would be one thing. But she's a child. It will pass. Look around here. There's not much left. Used to be a good-sized town. The folks have been moving to Riften for a while now. If all the young people leave, what happens to Iverstead? You know how children are. Her fancies change with the moon. And like always, the boy lacks any kind of spine. We need some convincing. 
A little push and this would all be simpler. Get out of town as fast as you can. Nothing for anyone here. On your way up the 7,000 steps again, Clibbert? Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Hrothgar. The path isn't safe. Aren't the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. I wish I could make my delivery. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery up there myself. I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of the Thulm, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. Oh, Fastred. I'm not sure what happened. One moment she's smiling at me, the next I can't even meet her eyes. I'll bet Bassianus would know what's going on. He understands women. I guess not. Hands to yourself, sneak thief. Pardon me, my lord. Would you care you to give me You don't look like a you? pilgrim. Why bother visiting Iverstead? Oh, my love. How I long to take her away from all of this. Why did Boti send you to me? As do I. It's a puzzling situation. Uh, why did Boti send you to me? I always had a feeling she liked me. More than that brute Yoththor, at least. Yoththor? What about him? He'll come after us and... it will be unpleasant. She would. If she's willing to deal with him, then everything would be all right. I'll... I'll go speak to Thastrid, post-haste. Astrid, we must speak. Bassianus, sweetie, what is it? 
We m Leave. Your father will never approve of us. And I grow weary of this place. You ever settle down to have children? You rip in twice my before you do I it. Adore the city. Pilgrim or not, oh. if I was... You, I'd move right through our backwards little town. I'll make the preparations immediately. Any idea how I can get my daughter's yes. head out of the clouds? It's a fine day with you around. The Greybeards are a strange bunch. I heard they live their entire life without uttering a single word. Can you even imagine? I wish I could go with you. Oh, you're... Huh? fiddling with any locks around here, we're going to have a real problem. It's a Nordic rune, thousands of years old. 